Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over how data is actually stored inside of Firebase itself. So why would we need to know about this? Well, we need to know about this so we can know what our limitations are. Because we are using Firebase real-time database, we are limited in the amount of data that we can actually store. We also need to know this so if our app does ever expand, we need to know how to better make our data more efficient so we can upscale it and not use too much money. But for now, Firebase does give us a generous free tier which we can take advantage of to build our app. So first let's talk about the basic unit of measurement whenever we talk about data. So whenever you store data, it's stored as either ones and or zeros. So a singular one and or zero is called a bit. A bit is the most basic unit of measurement you can have. It's either on and or off. Above a bit is a byte. A byte is eight bits together. And with that, you can store more and more data. So a byte can roughly store one character or one letter. Above a byte is a kilobyte or roughly a thousand bytes. So what does this mean? A kilobyte can roughly store a thousand characters or roughly half a page of text. Well, what's above a kilobyte? Above a kilobyte is something called a megabyte. So a megabyte is a thousand kilobytes or roughly a million bytes. So what does this in the real world? Well, a megabyte you can use to usually store a thick book or 500 pages, if you want to put it in that way. Above a megabyte is something called a gigabyte which is mostly what we're used to measure our data nowadays. Whenever you buy either storage, SSD, or a hard drive, it's usually stored inside of the gigabyte and or terabyte, something above a gigabyte. A gigabyte is roughly a thousand megabytes or a billion bytes. A gigabyte can roughly store a thousand thick books or 500,000 pages. To put this into context, the entire Harry Potter series is roughly six to seven megabytes of data. But this is just if you count the words itself. You don't really count the punctuations or anything like that. You just count the words, which is six to seven megabytes. Why are we talking about the gigabyte so much? Well, Firebase Real-Time Database gives us one gigabyte of data for free. If we were to switch over to the pricing plan, we can then scroll all the way down to then see the Firebase Real-Time Database right here. This right here is the free tier. So you can see right here, we get one gigabyte of data for free. So what does that mean? That basically means with our one gigabyte, we can store Harry Potter over a hundred times, the entire book series. We're not talking about images and or audio, we're only talking about text. And with that amount of text, we're never, never going to be like limited in our Discord app because we're not going to be using that much data. We're not going to be storing that much data. Also here, it also tells you the amount of gigabytes that you can download. So we're limited by the amount of gigabytes we can download per month. So we can download 10 gigabytes of data per month. So what does this mean? How does this limit us? So let's say somehow that we have our one gigabyte fully stored. So that means it's completely full. We can then download what Firebase allows us to 10 times that amount of data inside of that one month. So yeah, we're never going to be downloading our entire database at once. And we're also never going to be filling it up that fast. Like if like two, three years from now, maybe. But in the short term, no. The reason I chose Firebase as a database for us is because it's really affordable to expand your app. So let's say you're building an app and it gets really, really popular. Like thousands and hundreds of thousands of people use it. Well, it's only going to cost you five gigabyte. It's only going to cost you five more dollars per gigabyte of data that you have. Remember we're talking about that one gigabyte of data that we had? Well, you can just double it using five dollars. So yeah. Also, if you need to download more than 10 times your data, you can just pay an extra dollar for it. So yeah, it's pretty generous, pretty affordable, and the free tier is the thing that always gets, always gets charged first. So you, you ha if you have two gigabytes of data, it's only going to charge you $5 flat. So yeah, that's why we chose the Firebase database for our app itself. So using the knowledge that we learned today about how data is actually stored and how we're limited by this amount of data that we use, well, not really limited, right? We just need to take this into account when we're storing our data. We don't really want to be storing like a whole like character descriptions. We want to store that locally. But on the cloud, we can store the user's data pretty easily and pretty efficiently. It doesn't cost us much and we can just store it pretty easily. It's pretty quick and it's also reliable. That's the main key of it because it is run by Google, a really big company. It is going to do something way better than what we can do at home. So next time we're going to talk about data modeling when we are, when we are reading in data. But for now, we're going to be writing data next time. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.